Hi everyone and welcome to Neurology Morning. I'm very happy to be with you in a new video to give you some exercises that you can do to improve transfer from chair to another chair and just to move yourself in, in your wheelchair. So strengthening exercises and mobility exercises that will help you to be more mobile and be more independent with your wheelchair. Those exercises are for everybody. You just need a chair. So prepare yourself, but before I invite you to do a thumbs up or a like if you love that kind of content and that kind of videos. And I also I invite you to follow us on our social media platforms and to share with people that might love and benefit from this video. So prepare yourself. We start in a few seconds. See you soon. Okay, great. I hope you're well seated on a comfortable chair or in your own wheelchair. We will start, but if you're just one thing, if you're in a wheelchair, make sure you put your brakes on. It's very important. And if you do the exercises on a chair, make sure you're not on a rolling chair. Very stable chair. It's very important. You see, I'm behind like very close to a wall. So if I push back, I will not slide too far and I will not fall. Okay, so let's start. So when we want to do a transfer, I'm not in a wheelchair, but imagine I want to go in that, like sit on this chair without standing. So I want to transfer myself. You see, I, I, I will have to first off, if I'm sitting very back in my wheelchair, like we are supposed to be, we will have to come forward and bring the bum at the edge of the at the edge of the chair and if i want to transfer on the other chair i will have to lean on it and lift my bum and change like this the same like if i'm here it's very difficult to lift ourselves so we want to bring ourselves forward i don't want you to do this i'm just explaining you will understand more why we are doing the exercise that we will do so again i will go back to the other chair and i have to lean forward and a bit in diagonal put my hands there push myself up my bum and move my bum and bring on that chair okay so it's very complex we need a lot of strength at the core and at the, the arms and the shoulder mostly i will get rid of this chair <laughs> and we will start so first thing that we want to train it's to lean forward and this is very difficult it might seem like easy but it's not for most people. It's scary when you don't have a lot of muscles in your trunk. It's scary to lean forward, but the more you lean forward, the more weight you put on your feet and you can use that as a pivot. If you're here, you have to lift everything and the feet are not grounded. Even if you don't have any contraction in your, your legs, if you put some weight with the weight and the gravity it will kind of st stuck your feet ground your feet on the floor and it will be easier to use it as a pivot okay so and it will be less difficult for your arms to lift you lift you so this is a, a very important point to remember and sometimes we train this like for a long time before we can the person can actually do a transfer and even if you can't do it, your transfer but you want to help people that are doing transfer with you the more you will be able to lean forward the better it will be for the person that is doing the transfer with you because they will have to lift less uh, your body or it will be easier to slide on a plank, for example. So it's very important. This exercise is the most difficult for the balance. Uh, so make sure you're very safe, as I, I said at the beginning of the video. So we will do that for 30 seconds. What we will do, it's like we will try to lean and reach on one side and lean and reach on the other side. We don't need to not have hands because when you do tensor, you can use your other hand to secure you and put the hands there. And when you're, you have another support point, you can move your 
your arms there. We, you don't need to be able to lift both ends at the same time to do transfer. So you can use one hand to stabilize you. It's totally fine. Just like learning how to move your trunk and where, where, when to stop at what speed to go like all those kind of things it's proprioception needs to be good and to be trained to be able to do transfer in a safe and easy way okay so let's go we'll do that so we lean on one side as much as you can without like before you will lose balance on the other side So it's okay if you're not leaning as far as you, as you will need to do a transfer. We are training the properties or the skills you need to do a transfer. As I said, we are not doing a transfer. Like in rehab, sometimes we, we train this for weeks before we even try to do a transfer. And this is absolutely normal. So take time, step by step, one little step, by one little step as, as, as long as you're going forward and you're improving that's good you don't need to don't skip steps because because it will be too difficult discouraging and actually it's not safe so like it doesn't work to try to do transfer when you're not able to do it and even if you're you will never be able to do it all those exercises are very good for many things for balance strengthening proprioceptions confidence okay let's go let's do another one so it's good i've been working this on with people that kind of knew that the goal was not to for them to be able to do the transfer by themselves or but they wanted to help people or just to move their body and it's like it's rewarding because it's a functional activities and they can see that oh instead of like the person is transferring at 100 percent i can do 20 percent i can help a little bit and i am improving on many things i have more skills like so that's totally fine and at one point with time and sometimes a lot of time some people were able to do it with pervasion sometimes and some without like that's good but we'd never know how far a person can go like sometimes we think people can go like at the point but they reach like further they are capable of more sometimes they are capable of less because there's many many things that influence the the improvement and the performance and that's totally fine you let's go let's do the other one So my point here it's like work at your best don't put your too much pressure on yourself and may, you might be surprised but it's okay also if sometimes we put our, some goals that are very very difficult to attain but it's okay reach for the moon at least you will be in the stars okay good I'm super happy that you're still with me in this video so if you like this video I invite you to do a thumbs up or like I invite you also to follow us on YouTube Facebook and Instagram also I invite you to share uh, this video and our channel to people that might benefit from it and might love it so we want to build a great community of people helping each other and helping we want to help you to improve so you can help us by by sharing to people thank you very much for this thank you for doing the exercises with me i wish you a wonderful day and i'm looking forward to see you in the next video bye